And welcome back everyone. Saturday morning, the time is 840. You're watching News 5 Today Weekend Edition. I'm meteorologist Alan Rose. Right now it's 43 degrees and you're probably thinking it looks a lot like what we saw this time yesterday. And you would be correct, but the main difference, I'm tracking sunshine by this afternoon and that sunshine expected to continue through the end of your weekend. Right now in Pueblo, it's cool outside. Jacket weather feeling like fall where the current temp is hovering around 47 degrees, a little farther west into Fremont County. Check it out. Bright blue skies and sunshine, a winning combo. We were down to the 30s earlier today. Right now, checking in at 41. And for Monument Hill, the clouds a little bit denser and thicker here. Poor visibility as you're heading out of Monument up into Douglas County. Castle Rock and the Denver metro area. Now today in the springs expecting a high to be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than yesterday. Similar story for Pueblo that will push both areas well into the 60s for daytime highs and I do expect that blanket of low clouds and fog to begin to clear between about 9 and 11. So just give it a few more hours and we should see that sunshine and the blue sky by the afternoon. Something else we'll be watching is a very weak disturbance that moves through the mountains could generate a few showers down across the southern I-25 quarter possibly Possibly a few rain and snow showers into the mountain area. Snow levels pretty high, though, running at about 11, 12,000 feet. So if you're planning to get outside and do a hike this afternoon, good looking weather, especially compared to yesterday. We'll see that sunshine around the lunch hour. Temperatures into the upper 50s. Nice and pleasant by 3 o'clock with that high right around 62. Now as we jump ahead to next week, some big changes we've been talking about. The potential for our first cold snap of the season all depends on the exact track of this area of low pressure. It is coming from Canada, so there will be some cold Canadian air to work with. Right now, latest models keep it a little farther east than what we saw late last week. The track still in question, the impacts still in question, but if this low does come close enough, you can expect to see a pretty big change in that weather pattern possibly some snow showers here into parts of southern Colorado. Now that was the European model. This is the same model I'm showing you here on Futurecast. Let me tell you, I think this is way overdone, so I'm not expecting this much snow into the eastern plains and I-25 quarter, but just showing you that there is the potential for some of that moisture to move into the area by late Tuesday night, continuing into the first part of our day on Wednesday. Otherwise, we should see drier skies once we head past that point and make our way into the rest of the work week. All right, let's get into your overnight lows tonight. We'll see temperatures are Daytime highs today, I should say. Daytime highs warming into the 60s and 50s across southern Colorado. You can see temperatures here into the mid 60s around Pueblo and La Junta. Low 60s expected in Colorado Springs. Overnight lows tonight could be down near freezing, a little below it in the mountain areas for the rest of us cooling down to the lower to middle 40s. All right, here's your super seven day forecast. Afternoon sunshine expected today. That will continue into Sunday. I think Sunday to Monday, those will be the pick two days of the next seven. By Tuesday, even though we're warmer, we will be windy at night as that cold front drops in. Could see gust. It'll be a shingle shaker with wind speeds around 25 to 35 miles per hour. And yes, the potential for some overnight rain, possibly some snow in some areas. I don't think we'll see it though here in the springs. For Pueblo, we go from the 60s to 70s throughout the weekend, up near 82 on Tuesday, then down about 20 degrees as we make our way into Wednesday. Canyon City, we're dry and relatively nice for the next couple of days. Windy late Tuesday, and then some cooler and showery weather as we make our way into Wednesday of next week. For Woodland Park, I've got 50s and 60s through Tuesday. Some chilly highs Wednesday, Patrick, with the potential for some rain and snow showers up there in Teller County.